So about three weeks ago, I created a PSA video on the gunsmith whenever he was selling some god rolls for both the Fallen Guillotine and Icolos SMG, and reading through the comments, you guys seem to have loved that style of video as I went over the really good picks and also went over the bad picks and explained, well, what you might want to look for instead of what he was offering. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. The gunsmith just reset his inventory for the last time this week, and with that reset, we have another two weapons that are standout picks with the third being great if you're a newer player. So you might want to get these before they leave at weekly reset. Now, before jumping into it, if you guys do enjoy today's video and would like to see more content from me, hitting that like and subscribe button would make me feel really warm and fuzzy on the inside, and I would absolutely love to have you around. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this and take a look at his inventory. Now, starting things off this week, we have the Whispering Slab Kinetic Bow that's rolling with both Killing Wind and Demolitionist. Now, these two perks aren't really something that you'd be looking for when it comes to a combat bow. If I were rocking Whispering Slab instead of Killing Wind, I'd be running something like Archer's Tempo in the first slot so I could get my shots off faster, combined with either Demo or Swash for casual content, and Vorpal if I were running this in Master content so I could get more damage on bosses and champs when running Overload Bow. Whispering Slab is one of my favorite bows in the game, but I'd definitely ignore this roll if I were you and look for better options. Next up, we have the Long Shadow Kinetic Sniper Rifle that's rolling with Field Prep as well as Ambitious Assassin. Again, just like Whispering Slab, it's a pretty good weapon, but this isn't the role that you'd want. Most of the time, you're using these snipers for sustained damage, and perks like Ambitious promote more of an ad clear style gameplay, and 9 times out of 10, that's not how you want to be using your special ammo unless it's on a GL. The role you should be on the lookout for is either going to be Rapid Hit Triple Tap, this is going to give you great sustained damage by maximizing your shots and your reload speed with rapid it or field prep triple tap which again is going to help you maximize your shots it's also going to give you really good reload speed although you need to be crouched but it's also going to give you increased reserves as well long shadow has gotten a bit less appealing the more snipers that have released into the game and this role definitely isn't helping its case so ignore this one for now and be on the lookout for a better one in the future moving on from long shadow we have a weapon that's super close to being a fantastic god roll and that's the first in last out energy slug shotgun. Now, the god roll for this thing is Assault Mag, Auto Loading, Vorpal with a Handling Masterwork, and this roll comes so, so close yet so far. This weapon shines inside of raids like Deepstone Crypt with the Tanix boss fight, and if you're a newer player that doesn't have a slug, this honestly might be a big pickup for you. You'll be losing out on the 15% extra bonus damage since you have demo instead of Vorpal, but I definitely say that this is worth the pickup if you're not already rocking a god rolled Philo. Now, next up for Banshee's inventory, we have the best pick out of all the weapons on offer right now, the Eternal Blazon Arc Scout Rifle. Now, this weapon quite literally is rocking god tier perks in every column by offering up Appended Mag for larger magazine size, Overflow to double your mag size when picking up Special Ammo, which inside of Nightfalls with things like Special Ammo Finisher, Overflow definitely gets a lot more use than you'd think, and One for All, which gives you a 35% damage boost when tagging three enemies. Slap a Range Masterwork on top of all that to help negate gate damage fall off and you're sitting pretty with this weapon. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you already know about my scout rifle obsession, but if not, let me go ahead and fill you in. Master content inside of Destiny 2 is the pinnacle content that this game has to offer, whether that be Master Vogue, Grandmaster Nightfalls, or the soon-to-be Master Dungeon that's coming in December. It's the hardest content in the game, and because of its difficulty, you need completely different tool sets inside of those activities than you might normally. That's where Scout Rifles come into play, as Scout Rifles provide great damage, especially this season since they're buff, as well as great range which keeps you safe from potential one-shot deaths from enemies. Eternal Blazon is the best arc scout in the game right now, and whenever scout champion mods rotate back into D2, Eternal Blazon will once again be one of the weapons at the forefront similar to last season. It's also a perfect weapon to be rocking inside a Master Vogue's boss room due to the sheer amount of arc harpies that are present, although a little bit less this season since everybody's using fusion rifles. But please, if you're not a big scout rifle person, pick this bad boy up. Even if you're a casual player and super in-game content isn't even on your radar, you never know. Get the 
this role now because Eternal Blazon is a world loot pool weapon, making it a bit annoying to farm, and Banshee is quite literally handing you a god roll on a silver platter right now. Throw this into the vault for whenever we get future champion mods, and you'll be sitting pretty. Now, moving on from Eternal Blazon, we have the Outrageous Fortune that's rolling with Spike Nades, Threat Detector, and Quick Draw. Now, heavy GLs 9 times out of 10 in this game are pretty bad, as their jobs can be accomplished much easier by their special weapon counterparts, but this roll right here is just horrendous. If I were to want a version of this weapon with quote unquote good perks, I'd probably look for spike nades, field prep, and maybe rampage. But again, I'd steer clear from 9 out of 10 heavy GLs if I were you, as they're just not worth your time. Now, for the last weapon of the video, Titans, get your shards and glimmer out, as this might be very appealing to you. Here we have the Crown Splitter Sword that's rolling with Jagged Edge, Relentless Strikes, Whirlwind Blade, as well as an Impact Masterwork. Jagged Edge and the Impact Masterwork will increase your overall base damage, Relentless Strikes will give you ammo back for every 3 hits for sustain, and Whirlwind Blade will give you up to a 30% damage bonus on your heavy attack if you're able to land 5 light attacks first, although this does scale with each hit as 3 hits give 18% for example. Now this roll right here is going to be a 5 out of 5 god roll depending on who you ask or what content you might be running. Taking a look at all the perks on this thing, there are two types of god rolls for the crown splitter. We have a god roll with the perks tireless blade which will give ammo for every other heavy attack kill and vorpal weapon which will give you 15% more damage on bosses and champs. And then we have the roll that we have here with banshee, relentless strikes, and whirlwind blade. Basically, the Vorpal God roll allows you to be a bit lazier with your Crown Splitter while still being able to edge out that 15% extra damage, and the Gunsmith roll requires you to be a bit more calculated by dealing light attacks before your heavy attack, although only 3 of these light attacks can cause you to deal more damage than Vorpal, with 5 allowing you to double the damage of Vorpal. So when it comes to the best scenarios for either of these rolls, when fighting champions for example, they're a type of enemy that you try to burst down as quickly as possible, stun them once and release Hellfire on them to take them out so they're no longer a threat, and in that kind of scenario I'd say that it's much easier to rock a tireless blade and vorpal roll as vorpal doesn't need to be charged up with light attacks in order to deal that damage. However, in scenarios like Last Wish, Pit of Heresy, Prophecy, etc. when you're fighting enemies with much larger health bars and damage phases that give you more time, you could definitely afford to run this roll here to get the full potential out of it. It's a really great roll and even though it doesn't roll with vorpal you can still use this thing on champs if you'd like, although keep in mind once again you'll need to land 3 line attacks before you're heavy to deal optimal damage over vorpal. But yeah guys, with Crown Splitter out of the way, that's going to do it for today's video. Do keep in mind that you have until Tuesday's reset in order to visit the gunsmith and grab any of the roles that I showcased and talked about in today's video. And as a TLDR for you all, the first and last out is a definite grab for newer players, the Eternal Blazon is 100% a grab for all players, and Crown Splitter is a grab for my titans out there. But guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Uh, I apologize for the late upload as I slept in the day since I haven't exactly been feeling the best, so a like and comment would definitely be appreciated to help appease the almighty YouTube algorithm. Anyways, let me know what you all thought of today's video in the comments down below. If you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to ask them and I'll respond the best that I can. Thank you all so much for watching everybody, I hope you've been enjoying the frequency and uploads, and I'll see you all next time.